All aboard! What's up, Kaiju family? This is Godzilla Train 1090. So, until you say with a brand new review. Yes. It's time. It is time to review the favorite sculpture line 1954 Godzilla. It's been a long time coming. It's been a really long time coming for this guy. So. I had to do something I thought I'd never do. Created my 1954 Yuji Sakai 37 year Godzilla. Now y'all know how long I was looking for that bad boy. But hey, don't don't look at me like that. Don't don't look at me like that. We're we're, we're gonna get to you, okay? Oh Jesus. Anyways, so. You know how long I was looking for that 1954 30 centimeter Yuji Sakai Godzilla. And don't get me wrong, it's still an amazing piece, so great Yuji Sakai figure that if you don't have, go get it. But, you know how I've always said that I'm not going to get a gi gigantic unless I absolutely fall in love with it at first sight? <sighs> this was it. It's my very first gigantic figure. And can't think of a better one for it to be than the original, the OG, triple triple OG, 1954 Godzilla. So, when this thing came out, when they showed, um, I'm sorry, when they showed uh, previews of it, uh, I think a year or two ago, at a, I think at a Wonder Wonder Fest show, unpainted. When I saw it then, I was absolutely blown away. Don't get me wrong, I've seen some gigantic that I was like, ooh, that's nice, ooh, that's cool, ooh, ooh. But when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, I think this is going to be the one. It's going to be the one to prank me. And at first, I wasn't going to get them. Because I'm usually trying not to get too many uh, of the same figures. Uh, as if I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get some some of the same figures. I'm not trying to have like two ninety ones or two two thousand ones, two eighty five stuff like that. Usually one and done, I'm cool. That's that's why I, I sold the nineteen ninety one. You just got Godzilla, so I can get the new one. But when I saw this come out for pre order, even the price wasn't even that bad to me. I saw the price and was like. I had to fight myself, fight myself not to get it. I didn't get it, so I was like, okay, this was something not to be. But then I saw I seen everybody post pictures about it. David Eric Duffo, Matt Jacobson's review, Miss uh, Leslie P. Chambers review. I saw so many reviews, and the more I looked, I was like, I should have got it. I should have got it. I, sh I should have got it. I messed up. I should have got it. Then the opportunity of a lifetime came. So, of course, as I say that, I'm definitely going to say thank you, Robert. Because Robert actually posted in the Xbox Collectors Group that he was looking for in 1954 Yuji Sakai Godzilla. Now, I have mixed feelings about it. I don't know more. But when I first did it, I was hesitant. I was like, you know what? I know how it is looking for a figure. And trying to get your hands on it. I understand the hunt. Haven't been hunting for a while. But I understand the hunt. Well actually I'm lying because I never stopped looking for a camera and I have that now. But you never stop hunting. And once you do get get finished hunting, you get that satisfaction. You have it in your collection, you're absolutely happy about it. And I felt that it was time for me to do that for another collector. I wanted to share my joy and excitement for that figure with another collector and then I got a gigantic return in that. This 1954 gigantic baby sculptures on Godzilla is absolutely phenomenal. I'm definitely, I'm going to bring the camera closer so y'all can see more of them. Most definitely because y'all got to see this guy for everything he is. He's absolutely fantastic. As you see, 
he's eye to eye to me right now. I'm sitting down, yeah, but man, it's not he's not he's not a tiny boy at all. all right, guys, give me a second. I'll give you an up close, um, up close, and personal look of my first gigantic. Thank you. This sculpt was on a gigantic Godzilla. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is my absolutely first fantastic gigantic. And don't get me wrong, those gig gigantic scopes are absolutely wonderful. But I know there's only a select few I do want in my collection. And when they announced this at, I think, Winter Wonder Fest? I have to double check. I don't remember. When I first saw this, I was absolutely. I was immediately blown away by it just the crispness of this figure and i mean of course it looked like it came out of the suit it's i mean i I'll, I'll, I'll have the movie from the suit it looks just like this guy but when i tell y'all i did not expect this to look this good i'm not exaggerating the suit is an absolute monster for all intensive purposes just every single detail they put into the 1954 Godzilla. And no, I don't have the original gigantic Yuji Sakai. But they, uh, but, but from what everybody tells me, and I have seen some side-by-side side side comparisons, the details for the Sakai doesn't come close to this guy. And of course, I know I had the, the 30 centimeter Yuji Sakai 1954 Godzilla. And... I honestly thought that was the best 54. But I mean, can I really question it now? I mean, just look at how huge this tail is. Maybe a little long, I think, to be quote unquote suit accurate. But I mean, hey, I'm a tail guy, so I love the fact that he has a huge tail. Every single dorsal plate from the bot from the top of his tail. Leading up to the to his back, absolutely sculpted perfectly. And actually, the way how they kind of spread out on top, I think there was some liberties taken there. I don't ever remember guys those dorsal fins being that spread apart. But I mean, I actually like it. It looks nice like that. It actually, looks like he's in motion in a sense. If that makes sense. Every single last one of his dorsal plates are dope. The texture of it feels absolutely amazing. It's just, and even even coming to the feet with the, I don't know. I don't know why. I've always been a fan of guys that are having four toes. And to me, this is absolutely amazing. At least in my opinion. I could be wrong, but I, I like the way his toes can't, his I always loved the way the original Godzilla's toes looked. Of course, you gonna move up to his chunky thighs. He's a little bit chunkier than I even anticipated, but I mean, hey, it had to match with the suit, especially with all the bagginess. Godzilla's classic hands. What's everybody who thinks Godzilla has huge hands are crazy. Godzilla just has tiny little miniature hands with his claws. The claws ain't crazy sharp on him. I mean, they're, they're actually pretty nice. Of course, the main selling point of this figure is his face. Oh my gosh. His face is... His head is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely fantastic. Of course, Godzilla look, doesn't, is never, never looking straight on. It's always one eye doing one thing, the other eye doing another. But I mean, honestly, it makes for good pictures. From either side, you can get a whole completely different look of Godzilla. And personally, I really love that about about this figure. I loved it about my my thirty centimeter Sakai. And I love it about this guy too. And of course, his little devilish pointy ears, just like here, look in that picture. I mean, you can't tell me that this and this isn't completely identical. You'd be crazy to say that it's not. But man, it's just... I've never been... Well, no, I can't say I've never been blown away by a figure before, but 
I was really blown away by this guy. This guy really took me for a loop when I opened him. I mean, y'all y'all saw my box day. I was absolutely st static about it. And of course, I gotta bring up the only thing that's even close to him is as far as size. You see him over there in the corner having issues getting up. But we'll bring him out in just a second. And of course, another new figure in my collection, the 18 inch NECA Gypsy Danger. Now, we both know that they're not natural enemies, but at the end of the day, these are the biggest things in my collection, or well, besides maybe Superman. But besides that, these are guys, guys, this is definitely the biggest thing in my collection. Because I know the, the both of my Supermans were a little bit taller than Gypsy Danger. I don't think they're bigger than Godzilla though. Which is actually a funny story. But that's an, that's for another video, and that's another video for another day. But as you see, even though Gypsy Danger is as tall as Godzilla, girth rise is not even close. I mean, don't get me wrong, Gypsy Danger is a big figure, but compared to Godzilla, look at him. Let's look at the girth on Godzilla compared to Gypsy. And even with Gypsy for swords, I mean... Yeah, it makes, makes him have a little bit more of a reach on, on Godzilla. But that's about it. And if really they did fight, would Gypsy's swords affect Godzilla, honestly? We really don't know if they would or not. We kind of just got to find out one day, won't we? But, what a wonderful week to get two of the biggest things in my collection. Great two weeks. But alright guys, if y'all give me a minute, I'll give you my final thoughts on the 1954 favorite sculpture design Godzilla. Thank you. And we're back. And that's my view on the 1954 favorite sculpture design Godzilla. Like I was saying in the beginning of the video, I have absolutely zero regrets about getting this guy. Absolutely love him in my collection. He's been with me every day since I've gotten him. Ever since I unboxed him live on. Kaiju Collectors, which if you haven't seen that yet, go join us on Facebook with Kaiju Collectors right now. But absolutely, I, I absolutely love this figure. And the year's almost over. We're in September already. We still got quite a few releases to go, but as of right now, this is definitely my figure of the year. Get ready for this campaign trail, because it's going to be gigantic. In a sense, but having this guy in my collection is really special. Because, like I've mentioned before in my Yuji Sakai video, my uh, late aunt actually saw, showed me the original Godzilla. It was Godzilla King of the Monsters, but it was Godzilla. She absolutely loved Raymond Burr. She loves, and that's how I got introduced to Steve Martin, of course. And it was already after I saw. Godzilla vs. Megalon and King Kong vs. Godzilla, some of the more action packed Godzilla movies, probably Godzilla vs. Monster Zero as well. So, I didn't know what to expect. I always thought Godzilla was a good guy, honestly. Even in uh, King Kong vs. Godzilla, I always thought King Kong was bullying Godzilla. But, then I laid my eyes on the original Godzilla. And I think at that moment is when I absolutely became a Godzilla fan, because I absolutely still love the movie today. I love the Japanese version more, but I still love the film. It's an amazing film. Nothing touches it. the original Gojo. Absolutely my favorite Godzilla film of all time. I know that's that's kind of a cop out or not the proper thing to say, but it's the truth. To me, this this movie stands alone. Nothing touches it. Of course, 1984 is my favorite movie, and same thing with Barlanti, but. As far as the original, you can't make that. This, even with this, I want to be my original first gigantic. I can't I can't beat that? This is going nowhere in my collection. I'll probably keep, probably buried in this, honestly. But 
All right, guys, I guess that's all I got for tonight. Um, my next review probably won't be until probably after my birthday, I think. Because I think by that time, the Yuji, the Yuji Sakai Gazo 2000 should be coming out. And I'm definitely getting that. I'm going to, uh, and I don't know, I may have a project for somebody with that. But we'll see, we'll see more when I will be that guy. As far as Monsters with Attitude, at least this week, we're, we're taking a week off this week. And we don't know what our next video is going to be just, actually no, <gasps> I'm lying. Yes, we do. But I'll have to announce that once I have everybody on board with it. But until next time, you have a wonderful night. Kaju family.